Hello, and it's another one from DevLab. In this session, we are going to learn how to create this login form here using HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. Okay, so we are going to learn how to position this image and then as well as achieve whatever that we are seeing here, like that. Okay, so having said that, let me just go into my ID and then I've already created a project um called login form and then i have a file created within it's called index.html so i'm just going to open that and then i'll go back to my web browser and then make sure you come to this website here getbootstrap.com okay getbootstrap.com and then when you are here make sure you select docs and you navigate to the um down part a bit well, you are going to see this section so the second instruction okay include bootstrap css and js okay in our project so we are just going to make sure that we select this one and then hit this icon here which is saying that copy to clipboard so we're just going to hit on that copy it then we come back to our ids and then right click and then paste this thing like that all right now let me go back to the browser and then make sure I close this form here. And then I'll go back to the ID. Make sure this is saved. Okay, you can just click on file and then hit on save as well here like that. All right, then I'll just say that open, I'll right click on the page, I mean inside the ID and then say that open with live server. Okay. And then let's see what happens. Okay, so it has started. Good. Yeah, so this is what we are seeing here. Hello world. And you can see that this is only what we are having here to be printed onto the page. This one right here. Okay, so let me just quickly change this one to a login form. Okay. Then this hello world thing too. Let me just go down a little. And first and foremost, what we are supposed to do is that we need to put whatever we want inside a container. That is how the bootstrap library works. Okay. So I'm just going to say that um dot container. Well, let me just go step wisely and say that we have a div. Okay, div. And then I'll come back inside the first the opening div and then punch in class and hit equal to then I'll say container. Okay, so inside this container we need um a row. Okay, so I'll say that div the class of row and I'll say justify content. Justify content center and align items center. So inside this row, we need two columns. Okay, so the first one will be for the image, and the second one will be for the input tag. So class of row uh, column. So I'll say that on the last screen, take six, six of the columns, and then I'll open what. An image tag then let me go back to um a download section here i have an image downloaded here like that i'm just sure i copy this let me just copy this one here come on okay then let me just open this login form here and then I'll paste this image in it. Okay, so let me go back to the ID. As you can see, we have this image here. So I'll just say that in the source for this image tag, I'll say login.png. All right, then we need to go to the second part where we say div with a class of call 
LG column LG. So on the last screen, take six of the columns. I'll say that first of all, I need a um, class of margin button three on this div. Then I can push in my input tags. So the first one is uh, input tags for for um, the username. So I'll say username here, and then the placeholder will be username username then there will be a class on this thing called form control and i don't want any shadow so shadow none i'll say rounded pill okay go outside this and then make sure that i come back outside the div tag and say open another tag and say class mb3 input of type a password like that so password the name should be password and the placeholder i want it to be password as well and then class form control i don't want any shadow on this one as well so I say shadow none. Then rounded pill. I want that input tag should be having round edges. Okay, the border the border around it should be round. Okay. All right. So having done that, let me just put autofocus on this one. Autofocus. Now set it to true. And then I'll come back. And open another last div with a class of margin button three margin on the button section should be three and i'll say that i need a button that will do the submission for me so button of type submit okay now say maybe login but this also we need to push um few classes to it so i'll say class so this will be a button to so btn btn primary okay and then the shadow as well i don't want any shadow so shadow none and it should be rounded pill as well okay now let's go back and see what we've done so far so as you can see we are already achieving this right okay for this particular one the rounded pill is not working. So the password, let me see what is happening. Password. Okay. Rounded pill. Okay, okay. There's supposed to be a combined word like that. So okay. Now let's work around that image. It is too big. So we need to call a class on the particular image we are having. So this image tag here. Inside of the image, I'll say class. And I'll say IMG fluid. This will tell the image to be responsive. Good. So this is what we are seeing so far, right? We are making a headway. Now, with the button, let me say that the width should be 100. It should extend and then match the other input tags that we have. So you, you can see it has been extended to this section like that. So all are in line, okay? Just wipe this. Let's come back and then work around the container. So we are going to say that the background of this container should be light. So BG light. These are all bootstrap classes, okay? And then it should be rounded. Um, the edges should be rounded with four pixels like that. So as you can see, we are already seeing that the background is now light and then the edges are already looking good now i'll say that um, the padding around us should be like five the padding should be five and then let's see what happens okay now we are going to implement some um, css okay I'm going to push in some CSS. 
Seems I did a typo here. Let me correct that. So inside the head tag, I'm just going to open a style tag and say that I'll target this body. This body right here. And I'll say the height. The maximum height should be 100 viewport height. And then the margin on this body should be, let me say, 100 pixels auto. Let's see what happened. Okay, so this has centered our form inside the middle of the page. Okay, exactly. Now, let's try to change the background of the page like we saw in the earlier presentation. So, I'll just right click on this page and say inspect. Then I'll make sure I'll select this eyedropper here. And then I'll sample this color. Copy it. And then I'll come back to, I'm using Firefox browser anyway. I'll come back to my ID and I'll say background color should be this one that we just copied. Exactly. So as you can see, this is what we are achieving so far. Now we are left with the title here. Let's do Let's just do that. So inside the container, I'll say that H3 tag and I'll say, hello, welcome. So let me say that there'll be a small tag as well. I'll put a class of margin, top and button should be two should be text muted which will give the text a kind of gray color like so i'll say that log in log in to continue all right so let's see what we've done so far okay this is where it has come so what is wrong let's fix that asap Okay, let me push this thing inside the row and see what is happening. Okay, what the hell is wrong? Well, 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 well. Is that a container? Body is here and the pixels auto. Let me see once again what is wrong. Okay, so let me just bring this one into this column right here. Yes, exactly. So this is what we are supposed to do. Okay. Let me see if I can. Um, seems this class is not working. But it's okay. It's okay now. So, yes. Yeah, so this is how to create this simple form. I mean, login form like you saw in an earlier presentation. This is just how to go about it. If you like this video kindly hit the like button if you have any comments please put it down in the comment section below and kindly subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet i'm going to be uploading more amazing content whatever that is um you want me to do a tutorial on you can put it in the comment section and i'll make sure that i'll do justice to it thank you for watching and until next time peace